So I've had the uh, hood off my Skidoo many, many times. And I thought, how fast can I do it if I'm really going as fast as I can? So let's see. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so for those of you who uh, want to see how I did that exactly, I'll do a point of view video uh, putting everything back together and you'll get to see exactly what I did. Uh, here's where I want to say that um, I think you'll be impressed with the fit and finish. Uh, this machine has been through so much, it's been rolled so many times. I hit a rock and got thrown off. I've been hung up in a tree my daughter smashed it hitting a tree um, I've made videos of those uh, adventures um, it's a true backcountry machine it, I barely ever ride the trails this is a this is hitting rocks it's hitting willows branches constantly having cattails explode their seeds inside um, this machine has been ridden hard and it's been through so much and yet you will see how good the fit and finish is on this and how well it goes back together after all these years of uh hard use all right so uh watch me put it back together uh there are other videos there are other good tutorials on youtube on how to take it apart but if you see me put it back together that might be helpful too all right Recording. okay all right so when i slide this on can you back up a bit stream when I slide this on, I'm going to have to line up the uh, the breather hose with its attachment here, and I'm going to have to plug that in at the top of the breather hose. I'm also going to have to feed these two plug-ins up through this hole, okay? So watch how I do that. Right, so bring that through. And those through. Right. I'll just move this way. I have to get this plug out of the way. I have to line up. Yeah, that's perfect stream. I need to slide that into place a bit better. That's going to go there and it's going to twist downward until, see this clamp, this tab here, it's going to click. There we go. It's clicked. It's secure. Now this, you're not going to be able to see this, but this is going to plug in right there. And it clips on both sides. Good. All right, go back up here. I'm going to plug the headlight. Come this way, Serene. I'm going to plug that in. That's the, the light. I'm going to plug this into the gauge cluster. All right. Come this way, three. So 
yeah, so that's going to plug in there. Oh, I have it upside down. <laughs> that's going to plug in like that. And there's just that tab right there. All right. Now, this is going to have two tabs on the bottom. The bottom is going to the bottom is going to go in. And then these press down tabs will click into place. Done. The glove box lid just goes on like that. Like that and like that. All right. Now that that's all secure, I'll screw everything down. There are two short ones and uh, I believe four long ones. The short one goes down on this lower piece. Okay, and then this one goes right here. Okay. Same thing on this side. Short one goes right there. Just wait. Long one goes here. And there are two more that go here. Okay. Then the cowling right here. This is where my uh, daughter's knee went through the cowling when she hit that tree. It's the only piece I didn't replace. Okay, so you got a tab here that goes upward and two tabs that go downward. So you put the upward tab in, then you slide the bottom tabs, you slide down, then you close, you click here, close, you click here, and you close that. This side is the same thing with the tabs. So it slides up, then goes in and slides down. Click, close, click, close. And then the last thing is the windshield. The windshield has these uh, these plastic tabs that go into the rubber grommets. All right, so those are the rubber grommets. And this is meant to, dis to pop in and out pretty easily. We've got one in the middle. Okay, and you got two there, and it's done.